I'd like to ask you about the sourcing on the intel that ultimately led to this successful attack. Uh, can you confirm that it was uh, uh, as a result of waterboarding that we learned what we needed to learn to go after bin Laden? You know, Brian, uh, in the intelligence business, you work from a lot of sources of information, and that was true here. We had a we had a multiple source, uh, a multiple series of uh, sources that provided information with regards to uh, this situation. Clearly, some of it came from detainees and the interrogation of detainees, uh, but we also had information from other sources as well. So uh, it's it's a little difficult to say it was due just to one source of information that we got. Turned around the other way, are you denying that waterboarding was in part among the tactics used to extract the intelligence that led to this successful mission? No, I think some of the detainees uh, clearly uh, were, uh, you know, they used these enhanced uh, interrogation techniques against some of these detainees. But uh, I'm also saying that, uh, you know, the debate about whether or whether we would have gotten the same information through other approaches, I think, is always going to be an open question. So, finer point, one final time, enhanced interrogation techniques, which has always been kind of a, a handy euphemism right. in these post-9-11 years, that includes waterboarding. That's correct.